So let's just um, remind everyone about the, what is the water knowledge pyramid. This is the, um, anyone that has listened to anything knows that you don't have to know every step on the pyramid because it's progressively more knowledge that you will learn. But the very first one that you need is you need to get a language of water. And this is the water levels one through five. We have a very good presentation on that. And you can check one of the links and it'll go into how you define one to five and how you um, basically create them and train people on that. That is a qualitative. What we really want to have people think about is the quantitative. And that's a change in weight, a measurable, repeatable, actionable um, data that you can take and use to train your growers to improve and have them help make sure that they're getting being and consistent in their performance. Then you have to make the decision and train people when to, um, to water. How dry? What is the dry target? To get your dry targets established, normally it's a level two, but if you're doing quantitative where you're doing it by weight, that basically you can say when it hits this weight, when it hits 900 grams, when it hits 600 grams, when it hits 700 grams, it is time to water. And then you can then put on how much to water. Okay, if you've, if you've watered it down to 900 grams, you're going to add 600 grams and we want to see about 1500 grams um, in this whole block. So that will help direct the, your water people to not put on too much water, which will take too much time to dry back down. And so that you lose that dry, wet dry cycle becomes too slow, which is overwatering. Okay, then you have to ask the question where to water, especially when you're first getting started after transplant, how are you watering to draw that, those roots down? Remember roots search for water. If there's water sitting at the top of the, plant, of the pot, they're not gonna go to the bottom, fact of life. If, the, if it's dry on the top and wet on the bottom, where are the roots gonna go? They're going to go to where the water is. So we really need to be thinking about, you know, do we have lazy roots? Do we have a bunch of teenage roots that are just laying around waiting for the food to come by? Or are we basically causing them to be active roots, digging through the soil, looking for roots, uh, water, looking for nutrients? Finally, we've got um, plant demand, which is um, bigger plants need more water. Huh. So we need to make sure that we change, look at the plant demand. And finally, how does the climate? We're going to talk a little bit about that. But those are the, the different water pyramid levels. And as people learn more and understand more, they get higher and higher in the um, water pyramid. So you're watering people and everyone needs to know the language. Your people are actively using, carrying around hoses, need to know how dry and how much water, and everyone else needs to be moving along. What are we trying to do in this slide? When we take a look at this, these are the five levels of watering, one through five, and you can see progressively drier. Remember, as they, you lose water, the soil does breathe, because as the water goes in, it pushes the air out. When the water comes out, the air goes in. Good example here of saturated um, soil where there is no air and as you dry it down to a level one where there's no water, you can see there's more and more air pockets.